I feel like I'm still trying to process <laughs> this whole purchase and cannot believe I'm about to do this unboxing. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my brand new bag. I honestly never thought that I would do one of these videos. Um, for one, I never thought that I would purchase one of these bags. I feel so strange doing this video. I feel like it's an out of body experience. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Okay, I'm gonna start opening up because I could literally ramble on about this whole situation. I'm gonna do a blog post on my thoughts. All right, so I was just getting way too rambly and really like diving into all these emotions as I kind of reflect on what this bag and this purchase means to me. So I decided I'm just gonna save that for a blog post for those of you who are interested in reading more kind of how I'm dissecting these emotions. I feel so silly, it's just a, a bag, but it clearly means a lot to me. So I will link that post down below whenever that's up for those of you who are interested. Onto the bag, onto the unboxing, I'm ready to open this thing up. I purchased this on Instagram from Julia Rose Boston. She, if you love designer bags, you have to follow her. I love watching her stories because they just unbox these designer bags and you just never know what they're going to share, what's going to come out of that dust bag. Like it is just such a guilty pleasure of mine and I have never been into designer bags like this. I just have a very few, very small collection of designer bags and each bag has been purchased with some sort of big meaningful life event or something just really, really special and important. Um, I'll even dive into that a little bit over on my post as well. So yeah, I just don't have like a ton of designer things. And for one, I never thought that I would splurge on this or <laughs> treat myself to anything like this just because I talk myself out of so much and I second guess everything. So this was like the best way to go because for one, I can't return it. Like I bought it from someone on Instagram, so there's no return policy, that type of thing. Can't talk myself out of it. Um, I also have no idea what to expect because I've only seen a photo of it. And a quick little unboxing. So let's open it up. I feel like I'm having an out of body experience right now. Oh, here she is. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot believe I splurged on this bag, but I am so in love. So in love. The color's perfect. The fact that it's vintage is perfect. Like, okay, we will dive into the style of the bag, but um, I love the color. So this is beige with gold hardware, but this one has a pinky nude undertone, which is so perfect for me, especially on the inside. Um, when you open it up, at least based on the photos, yes. So it has like a pinky hint to it, which is absolutely perfect. So I absolutely love the shape of this, the fact that it's a little bit taller, a little thinner against the body compared to the jumbos that you get now. They're just a lot more wide. Because this bag is vintage, it has like real gold plated into the hardware, which they do not make them like that anymore. So I just feel extra, extra special to have this as my first. Who knows if it will be my last? I don't know. Tim hopes so. It is just the perfect bag for me and what it signifies is just such a big blessing i am so thankful who knows who owned this bag before like we're just gonna pretend it was kate middleton like this came straight from kate middleton's closet <laughs> we'll never know um but i love that it already has a story like it's already like who knows who knows why that person purchased it and what it meant to them and where they carried it to like it's just really cool I love that this bag has a story and now it's gonna live on in my closet and be like my pride and joy in my room um like not many things in this room am I gonna have 20 years from now but I can guarantee you I will have this bag or carry this bag unless something dramatic happens there's my Enneagram coming out guess what Enneagram I am if you are into that type of thing um, so let's open it up. As far as wear, this bag is in amazing shape. So when she received the bag to sell, it came straight from Leather Surgeons. So that apparently is like a place where you send your 
bags to go to the spa and get cleaned. I don't know much about that, but they cleaned her up for me. Um, there's some scratching on the logo, but you can't tell like straight on. You can see it at an angle. It does not bother me in the slightest. I love her and her imperfections. Um, and then as far as signs on the corners, like literally so, so minimal. It looks perfect like the fact that this bag is in this good a shape years later just tells you how timeless they are um the chains are definitely like thick and heavy but comparing the weight of this to the jumbo i tried on in store does not compare this is a lot lighter and a lot more comfortable um has a back pocket let's open her up do we name her like who knows um so it is just a single flap that might also be why it's a little bit lighter and then it has just a big opening there with a pocket and then a zip pocket here with a little chanel logo it's actually super comfortable and light as well so yes i'm gonna be very extra wearing this with all of my target and walmart outfits but that just that's who I am. So that is my new bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and thank you guys so much for your support. You are a huge part of this bag and like literally I think of you guys when I see this bag. It just means the world to me and I cannot wait to wear it and just create memories wearing it. I don't know. Don't worry. I'm not getting super fancy over here. I am actually about to film a Target haul. I got a Walmart haul to do and a Shein haul to do. So if you haven't subscribed already, definitely stick around and hit the notification bell so you don't miss those upcoming try on hauls. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.